hello, you folks. Dr. Freedom, you're really time to knock your news. News from the running universe that may or may not make you drive really fast in your car. Now, remember, if you're going to do that, wear your safety belts and look out for the fuzz. But, okay, um, yeah, just some more stuff going on at Gosport. Apparently, they're going to be there. From what I'm hearing, they're going to pack up tomorrow. Also, some other very interesting things to note. Now, people are like, why don't you do spoiler warnings? I said, because we haven't seen anything yet that you could really classify as a spoiler other than the time period. We don't know what the story is. We don't know who the characters are. We don't know what's going on. But apparently, from what I'm hearing, I guess the BBC have been really playing some dirty pool with some folks out there on the set. Um, but it's kind of weird, though, because while I'm hearing this going on, they're still letting, from what I'm hearing, uh, Jody's been, you know, also from what I've been seeing, I should say, um, they've been letting Jody go out and meet the fans, take selfies and whatnot. So it's a weird mixed bag of craziness. Okay, so... Let's start with what we do have. Let's all right, let's hop on over here. Boy, hey, ho, ho. Now, if you go under the DWSR tag and all that, and I'll, matter of fact, look over on Girly Letters on Twitter. I may have to provide a link to this one. The BBC South are looking to interview Doctor Who fans who will be at the filming in Gosport today. So it's kind of weird that I'm hearing strange stories about people getting weird treatment but at the same time, now they want the BBC, BBC South wants to interview fans who did show up at Gosport. So, as a matter of fact, if you follow that link, it'll take you here to this Facebook page, calling all Dr. Fans, are you staking out the filming today? Fancy being on the telly box. BBC South are looking for Whovians to interview today. Comment below if you're free and fancy it. So, we're going to have to keep our eyes out for when this video pops up or whatnot, as, you know, see who got interviewed and whatnot, because there's already a lot of people who, responded some have already said of course i've you know, we've been interviewed and whatnot so you know interesting weird stuff going on there now if you scroll up i'm gonna scroll a bit now interesting we have somebody arriving on set in gosport in disguise now some folks have already assumed that this has something to do with the episode this being looking like, you know, a, a mask that, you know, they would wear back during the era of the plague. The problem is we don't know that. It, I, I'm thinking that this is probably a disguise, maybe for a guest star. So, you know, they've been known to do that kind of stuff before. We don't know who this is at all. Either that or maybe it's the one guy from Beetlejuice. You know, remember that scene towards the end of Beetlejuice, you know, oh, well, oh, well or he pulls his nose out. You, you know what I'm talking about. So, Interesting stuff going on there. Right? Let's scroll up a little further. See, a lot of these I already have over on the Dr. Freedom page. Now, here's another bit of side news. Whether this has to do with Dr. Who or not, we don't know. But somebody put this up. All right, boom, 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 boom. Unfortunate news. It is with a heavy heart that we need to share that we've just been advised that, unfortunately, Gemma Redgrave will not now not be able to attend DevCon Plymouth on March 3rd. This is due to her filming schedule being extended unexpectedly. Now, we don't know. Now, even though we know Chibnall wrote the episode that brought Kate Stewart back into Doctor Who, which was Power 3, and a lot of people goes back into, what are you talking about? The character of Kate Stewart was created way back when, and um, I believe it was Downtime the Brigadier's Daughter was created in. Forgive me if I got the title. I believe it was Downtime. I'm just going off memory here. So, and then the character was, of course, kind of sort of rebooted, brought back in Power of Three. So, well, you know, with the, that was a Chibnall episode. So, it wouldn't be beyond belief, but at the same time, don't go crazy. Don't go screaming to the street yet. Let's sit back and see if we get more info before we go nuts. Because she does work on other projects, okay? So, let's scroll up a little further. Okay, there was this thing, but the problem is when you click on this... Um, I'll provide the Instagram link for you, but you really don't see much. It's not all that fantastic. All right, this one. All right, th we're going to go into this in a second. Once again, selfies being taken. Uh, Jody is more than happy to do it. But like I said, I've heard some weirdness going on regarding shooting pictures near the Doctor Who set. Now, I can understand that, though. They're trying to be careful and all that, not going to apply details out. But the problem is, in one of these cases, it was just a picture of Jodie in her costume. There was nothing in the background. There was nothing going on. 
and all that. So I'm waiting to hear more details on what happened with that. And if you scroll up, oh, I got, I got a laugh out of this because someone posted Jody and her hot water bottle. It's still a better love story than Twilight. I got to, <laughs> so, and like I said, there was just, these photos were kind of rubbish. Like the guy says, there's a short video, but you can't really see or hear anything. And so that's why I'm not going to go into really big detail. I just added it to be thing. And of course, here we go. Here's the me with the doctor one, the link you saw below. Our, our, sorry. Our, so once again, you know, Jody's out doing selfies and all that. Oh, God, that's right. Cover, of, you know, Rose apparently out for the Target novel. Like I said, I was expecting this stuff to pop up in articles across the day, but nobody's done it. And once again, here's another one. Lovely, lovely shots. And this is from BBC South News on Twitter. Put this up. But like I said, it's weird. And we're going to go into this article in just a second. Okay, so we've caught up. All right. So weird, weird, weird things going on on the set. On one side, we're getting lots of photos with, you know, Jodie Whittaker's happy to do selfies and all that. But from what we've been hearing, there's some really weird, like I said, I don't want to use the words dirty pool but there's some weird stuff going on in the background and I'm still hearing about. All right. So, okay, let's move forward. So that's all right. Once again, this is the page where BBC South was asking for people to come in to be interviewed or, you know, would you be interested in being interviewed if you're coming out to the filming? All right. Sorry. That's just, sorry. That's just my Twitter page. All right. Here we go. This is Mike Poulter put these up. Um, and this of course is just showing you a little wood. I'm like I said, you really don't get much more detail than that. You know, like I said, so there's nothing spoilery here other than the fact that this is the area they're filming in, which is the village that's modeled to resemble the 17th century or a 17th century, you know, location. So, all right, once again, here's more photos. You know, Jody out. Like I said, we just saw this one here. Here's another one here. All right, as, if I remember, I'll put all these links in the description box as many as I can. So that way you can go look this stuff up for yourself. But if you have trouble finding anything, uh, just run over to DWSR. Um, or do hashtag Doctor Who, and chances are it'll pop up. Matter of fact, yeah, that's Bradley Walsh, duh, right there. So, or check Bradley Walsh's page at Bradley Walsh or hashtag Jody Whitaker, hashtag Doctor Who. So, that way you know where to find this stuff if you want to go look for it on your own. All right. Family is a key watchword for the Chris Chibnall era of Doctor Who. Um, Apparently, what they're going on here, to talk to those that know about the hopes and dreams of Chris Chibnall or Doctor Who, and there's one word on their lips, family. This certainly seems to be the watchword for the new era, as Jody Whittaker, of course, takes charge. Yeah, 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 we already know that. Not only does it seem to be the desired vibe between the new companions, played by Bradley Walsh, Tossin Cole, and Mandip Gill, who will follow the doc, you know, Whittaker's doctor through time and space, but the new showrunner, Chibnall, has also said he'd be, he's, oh, sorry, he said to be very keen to make it a show that more families will sit down and watch. So it seems to me like they're trying to broaden the audience a little bit, you know, so, and then they go into a little bit right here. Now, like I said, I said a source. I love that. And they, it's just a basic, you know, nothing big. So the word is family vibe and all that, but I'm going to leave this for the rest of you folks to go zip through your on your own. Oh, okay. Daily mail. <laughs> what do you expect? The daily mail. Of course. This is just, once again, photos are with a hot water bottle and all that. And this, you know, like I said, in case you wanted to get, there's one that I didn't have earlier, a little bit more of a close-up, Jody, you know, with the crew and all that just yapping. Like I said, we haven't seen, like, any alien menaces or anything like that. Because if we did, I would have a spoiler warning on the video. Because if it's something new we haven't seen before, I don't, you know, I know folks are very sensitive about that. And I don't, I'm trying to keep it so that, you know, if it's something we've already know, Okay, but if it's something we haven't seen before, I'll throw a spoiler warning on the video. Okay, our bro. Okay, Chesil Radio put this up. First female doctor who visits Gosport. Um, and they go a little bit more here. Once again, here's uh, one of the photos of uh, our selfies with Jody Whitaker and a fan and all that. So if you want to go check this out, bam, 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 here you go. So I just threw it in because it's a nice little local thing. Wow. Okay, here's the one that I care. Peter, or Doctor Who fans are furious after Peter Capaldi is to charge 75 pounds for an autograph at London Comic Con. One thing I want people to really sit down and think on, do not get mad at the stars for, you know, for overpriced photos. In most cases, those prices are set by the event as well as an arrangement with the agent and whatnot or whatever agency is representing, you know, 
that particular star. And of course, you know, the actor does get a cut, the con gets a cut, and of course the agency gets their cut or takes the blood out of the actor, as some will say. So that you can't blame Peter, but at the same time, you know, I, I didn't have a chance to run this to the conversion unit yet, but considering how much that some of the Doctor Who actors are charging over here in America, especially the new doctors for like photo opportunities and all that. Matter of fact, right here, 65 pounds for a photograph with them or 225 pounds for a diamond pass, which is, you know, mug, photo, autograph, and a priority seat. So that's basically a VIP pass, which a lot of people look at me funny because I say I'm not a fan of VIP passes. I never have been. Um, sorry, that's an auto playing video. Um, I remember back when we go to cons, matter of fact, I remember we didn't even pay for autographs. You paid a, you know, you paid a fee, you got in, everybody got an autograph, yada, yada, and nobody paid for one. And of course that's changed over time and all that. Cause you know, actors need to eat too. And plus, you know, yeah, the times change, but at the same time, then came the VIP platinum, yada, yada. If you ever been to a Volcon, they had like 50 different packages you could choose from other than general admission. And, ugh. But I'm not a big fan of VIP passes because I don't think anybody should be treated any better than anybody else at a convention because they shelled out more money. I'm sorry. It's just also I've seen them abused radically. All right, so don't be mad at Peter. Also, 75 pounds, come on. Like I said, considering how much some char you know, stars are charging here in America. But I think what the point of it was is I was talking with some friends of mine last night is this is considered high for the U.K., I don't know what to tell you in that case, but all right, moving on. This one, Eccleston, my northern accent held me back. Now, this was put up over on BBC News. Um, he said his northern accent held him back when trying to secure Shakespearean roles on stage. So that's basically what he's saying. Um, he said there was a perception in the industry that, quote, unquote, people like me can't be classical. And, of course, as we've seen, Eccleston has proved them wrong on this front time and time and time again. Also, he will appear as Macbeth in a new production at the Royal Shakespeare Theater in Stratford-upon-Avon, but he had to ask for the role, he said. He goes, I was, I've never offered Shakespeare. I went after this. Nobody offered it to me. I went after it. He wrote an old-fashioned letter to the artistic director of the RSC, Gregory Dorn. He said, quote, I said, since I was 17, I've always wanted to play Macbeth at the Royal Shakespeare Company, so can I do it? But he also, he said he resents having to ask for roles. Quote, I should have been offered more, but I didn't go right, didn't go to the right university or the public schools, and it needs to change. And he's spoken out about this before, about class division and whatnot he feels exists in the acting community. You know, so it's not surprising. It's just, you know what is surprising? That hair. Oh, my God. All right, moving on. And lastly for today, this is the one that has me in stitches. The fact that there are people out there who are so hell-bent on, oh, man. Oh, sorry, pardon the title pun there. Who are so hell-bent on finding weird symbolism because they believe in their minds that the hiring of Jody Whitaker was a move by the BBC to basically, you know, you know, the whole SJW warrior conspiracy thing. You know, you've probably heard it a billion times now. But the fact that they're saying now, if you turn this part of this Doctor Who logo on its side, you get the logo for woman. Matter of fact, my other favorite one. <laughs> I don't want to say where I heard this, but someone said by putting the hash in there, you're cutting off the D. <laughs> and the best part is somebody claimed they found this. This has been in for how many days now? It was in, it's in the freaking Radio Times. <laughs> oh, sorry. Deep breaths deep breaths but you see what i mean this is what they're looking for and i'm like oh man really you've got to be joking me are you that desperate you know to somehow prove this conspiracy theory about jody whitaker's hiring being a move some kind of power move for feminist you know feminist groups or something like that? oh my lordy lordy it's just gotten nuts it's just a logo, people. Come on. 
it's just like, what are you going to do? Find the symbol for the Illuminati in here somewhere? Is Jody also going to turn out to be a reptilian like the Queen? Oh, man. Oh, sheesh. The symbol for Venus. I'm sorry. Oh, man. <laughs> All I want to say to this person or these people are, can I buy some pot off you? Okay. Um, like I said, that's all I had. That was going to be a short one. I'll try to pass as many links as I can you know, get to you in the description box. Once again, if you can't find it there. Now, you're, the problem with the DWSR hashtag right now is thanks to a bunch of trolls and all that, you have to swim your way through to basically get to the point. Um, and I, I love some of the tactics they use to throw the blame off their own antics, but it's just amazing to me. Uh, I love how they deflect using a whole different argument to get off the fact or a damn Twitter troll. But that's just me. That's crazy. Apparently, I'm supposed to be omnipotent. I'm supposed to have watched everybody's channel who trolls on Twitter. I don't. Oh, I'm not going into that whole argument. Okay, folks. So take care. Ta-ta. Enjoy the rest of your day. Cutting off the tea. <laughs> <laughs> Good night.